Welcome back. Our next guest is a brilliant stand-up comedian and the author of this fantastic new book, How to Be Married to Melissa. We're so proud that he's making his late-night debut right here with us tonight. Please welcome the absolutely fantastic Dustin Nickerson. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, oh, that was overwhelming. Thank you. Uh, yes, everybody, my name is Dustin. I am a comedian, even though I know I look like I was sent here by the city to shut this event down. <laughs> I've got strong narc vibes, I know that. Uh, some kids, they grow up and they want to be Batman. I look like a kid who grew up wanting to be Commissioner Gordon. I understand. <laughs> All this energy, so this is nice. I'm happy to be here. Uh, I'm married. Uh, this summer, me and my wife are going to celebrate 18 years. We've been together 18 years. It's, uh, it's fine. She's not here. You don't have to do that. Um, we're very happy, but we're very jaded. I know we're jaded because the last wedding we went to, we were giggling during the vows. <laughs> Like, we couldn't take it seriously, right? Because that doesn't mean anything. You know that in your hearts. <laughs> like, that's not a marriage. That's a wedding. Those are different things, right? A marriage is the next day when they get to the airport and she goes, I forgot my passport. Now you're married. That's... <laughs> that's the marriage right there. Today, till death do us part. Tomorrow, I'm going to Mexico alone. You had one job, one job. <laughs> That's what I like about being in a relationship. You get very realistic about it. Like, when people ask advice, I go, listen, if you really want to know who you're supposed to spend the rest of your life with, ignore everything positive about them. <laughs> that doesn't help you. We all like the positive things. Look at the most annoying thing about a person, the thing that drives everybody else in their life crazy. And if you can stand that thing, then that's your soulmate. <laughs> <laughs> For example, if you're in a relationship with somebody and they say, espresso, <laughs> and you don't want to murder them, then marry them, right then and there. I do, there's no X in that word. You were uncultured and illiterate is what you are. <laughs> That's how I know me and my wife are for each other, though. We can stand each other's things. My wife can't say the word salsa correctly. She says salsa. Like, may I have some chips and salsa? You feel that tension right there? I've said it twice, you all hate her already. And that should be the stuff on dating apps. It shouldn't be like, I like to kayak. And she'd be like, I grind my teeth at night, FYI. <laughs> oh, you have a sleep apnea machine? Perfect, perfect. <laughs> I like that. I like the realism, you know, that kind of comes with that. You just know each other. The other thing that I think is important is that you need to find the things that you have in common and not the things you love together, the things you hate together. <laughs> hate is so much more powerful than love. <laughs> and it's not even close. Let your relationship grow through bitterness and spite. <laughs> My wife and I have a couple friend that we keep in our life just because everything they do, we hate. <laughs> That's their role. They do something annoying, and then we get together and talk crap about them, <laughs> and then our love blossoms. <laughs> For us, it's a young, annoying couple that's always trying to, like, show off and impress. And, like, you know, Dustin and Melissa, every night we still fall asleep together cuddling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not impressed by that. You know why you cuddle early on in a relationship? Because you're still afraid they're going to leave. That's why. <laughs> You're not cuddling, you're holding on. That's not romance, that's a hostage situation. <laughs> you know what a happy, content couple looks like in bed? Could you be further away? <laughs> I don't want to know you're here. Further away. <laughs> You've taken enough of my daytime dreams. Could I have these ones, please? <laughs> Same with parenting. You get very realistic about it, you know? Like, I have three kids, and the hardest part is I got a real mean one. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> she is so mean. So, like, I've never hit my daughter, but I have thrown a Hawaiian sweet roll at her. I have. <laughs> She's that level of mean that if one of the parents is yelling at her, the other won't in intervene and stop. It'll be like, get her, get her, you know? <laughs> she needs to hear this, you know? 
And it's crazy. She's especially mean to my wife. And that's crazy to watch. That's so, this is my child to my wife. Where's my high school sweetheart? We've been together for 20 years. And the things that she'll say to my wife, I will just sit there with my mouth open like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I have always wanted to talk to her like that. I... No, you're in trouble, but finish your thought. Finish your thoughts. All right, I've been Dustin Nickerson. You're absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much, everybody. The new book, How to Be Married to Melissa, is on sale right now. We'll be right back, everybody. That was fantastic. Thank you, Jay.